What up Legacies, welcome back to my channel. So, my uh, Scorpio Legacies, I wanted to do your guys' reading today. And I also wanted to use a, a deck that I haven't been using that much. But like two days ago, I had something really strange happen to me. Uh, so you know how like everybody has like some type of aura around them? Well, I was in the kitchen with like one of my uh, friends and like, so like the, the countertop in the, in the kitchen is like shades of whites and grays. It's like really the grayscale in a sense. Anyways, when I was there, like we were just speaking, he was kind of on his phone busy and like, I was kind of more so like, looking around and all of a sudden I just got this like big bright purple violet type of color beam of light just like shine on the countertop mind it was dark so like it just came out of nowhere it was like if someone like flashed like took a picture flashed me but instead of like that white light it was purple so anyways, I looked into it and um, turns out it's, it was just like, I did breath works that morning. So like every time I do breath works, a lot of like my psychic abilities amplify. Uh, so yeah, I had a really good session that morning. And then later that night that happened. And basically it just means like a lot of people that have psychic abilities have a purple, a purple aura, which is like, you know, a combination between their third eye chakra and their crown chakra. Uh, so in a sense, it was just telling me that, like, I have one foot on this in this world and another foot within the ether, which is the spiritual realm, which was kind of like, it was like validation that like, what I'm doing is why I'm doing it, right? Uh, I mean, I don't really need validation from anyone because like, I know, I know what I'm doing and I know why I'm doing it. But I guess it was just like a gentle reminder, a gentle, humble reminder from my higher power that I'm doing, I'm doing the right things or I'm on the right path. And kind of just to continue doing what I'm doing because it's obviously having some type of impact to the world, uh, which I'm grateful for. And it gives me an, an, the ability to humble myself and be just living gratitude and be grateful. Okay, with that being said, um, I'm going to use this deck because it is, uh, it, it is like holographic, you know, it has all these like awesome ass colors so i'm using this deck because of what happened the other night and i also just woke up thinking that i need to do scorpio today so i'm gonna start it off with this deck and then i'm gonna use this other light seer deck to clarify all right so yeah intuitively what i'm getting for you guys sorry for the storytelling um but i just wanted to share it with you guys uh, okay, so we have, okay, so we I see a lot of swords popping up for you guys. I also see the high priestess, uh, the moon, the sun. I feel like astro astrologically, uh, a lot of major arcana cards are going to pop up for you guys. Uh, okay, so let's go. So you guys can just, just give me the cards that I need to see. Okay, so... We have the Nine of Swords. As your current. With the Eight of Wands as an opposing force. Okay, so there you guys, angels. What is the root of the cause? King of Swords. Yeah, I was telling you, swords are going to be popping up. Spirit guides, angels, please give me the cards that I need to see for Scorpio. Okay, which one landed first? 
the Five of Pentacles. With uh, Temperance. Major Arcana card. Spirit Guides, Angels. Just give me the cards that I need to see for Scorpio. What is the future? What is the future for Scorpio? The Queen of Cups. It came out sideways, so I'm going to take it like that. The Two of Swords. That is you. What are your external influences? The Ten of Pentacles. What are your hopes and fears, Scorpio? What are your hopes and fears? What are your hopes and fears? Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so we have the Three of Swords, the Star, and the Queen of Pentacles as your hopes and fears. What is your final outcome, Scorpio? What is your what is the final outcome? The Sun. I told you the Sun was gonna pop up. Okay. Ooh. So you have the sun, the star, you have temperance. So you have three major arcana cards so far, but oh, okay, and what you don't see coming is the death card. Yeah, you don't see the death card coming. So I'm gonna put that over here to the side. Okay, so let me brief you on what I'm getting so far in your reading. Okay. Okay, so with the Nine of Swords as your current energy, I feel like you've been self-loathing, you've been, I feel like you've been in your head a lot, okay? It's almost like you're regretful of some type of past situation, Scorpio. Um, it's like you're regretful of some past situation. It's, I mean, you've been in your head a lot, you've been crying, it's like you're depressed, Scorpio. But as a result, with the opposing forces, as with the Eight of Wands is... <sighs> I, I'm, I'm hearing that you're waiting for communication to come in, and it is coming in. And it's coming in quickly, okay? It's something that I don't see you expecting, okay? And it's not only gonna be like a message, but it's gonna be a plethora of information, of truth, of, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing closure, closure. Like this is closure on a past relationship that caused some type of heartbreak for you, okay? Um, I do see you, I mean, I, I, I see, I'm hearing your heart broken, Scorpio. I'm hearing your heart broken. I'm hearing the separation. There's a sense of separation. Like you guys might maybe are still together, but like you're separated, okay? With the King of Swords, as the root of the cause is okay so i see this is more so the scenario for a female with the male and if the, or take it as it resonates the roles may reverse okay but what i'm getting is with the king of swords that the root of the cause is this gentleman or male figure uh is coming in it's like he found out of about some truth or or he's coming in with some truth to what he did as a result that might have put some uh unbalanced energy within your guys's relationship okay uh with the five of pentacles in the past
Yeah. Okay. So I I I see. I'm hearing someone more so in this relationship is walking away, Scorpio. Okay. Or someone has left to to try to fix their behavior. Okay. It's almost like you guys went on some type of retreat with the five of pentacles it's more so like that card of like crying over spilled milk okay it's like you okay you made a mistake and like you left the scene you left the situation you left the relationship to try to go work on yourself with temperance i do see you like i said taking the action to own up and take accountability for your actions or this may be for the other person they're taking accountability on their actions okay with the temperance card i do see th uh i do see uh, life on life's terms coming back into balance okay with divine timing it's like i feel like you took a retreat to work on yourself to do some recovery, okay? It's like you may have gone to treatment, you may have gone to rehab, you may have worked on your mental health. I'm hearing you may have work on your psyche, okay? It's like you're you're taking care of yourself. You're may, I'm hearing a therapist, you're speaking to a therapist, okay? You're going to meetings, like you're you're doing, you're restructuring your life, Scorpio, okay? With the Queen of Cups, here it popped out sideways i'm getting feminine energy obviously i am also seeing you're maybe in your body of water a body of water scorpio okay i'm seeing you highly emotional okay it's like i feel like you've really been reflecting on your on your past behavior like it's almost like you're thinking like what could have what could have i done better if I would have done this, like, would have this resulted differently? Or would have this resulted in a more positive way for me? But honestly, what I'm getting is that everything is happening the way it's supposed to for a specific reason. Okay, Scorpio, uh, with the two of swords as you, as your energy, I am seeing a strong separation between you and your significant other I'm, I'm i'm hearing that you like left on some type of recovery treatment retreat or it's like you decided to take your own way okay you may have gone to a family member's house please take it as a resonance but what i'm trying to say is there was there was some type of separation between you and them okay and it's like you kind of like took a leap of faith you're not really i'm seeing you're on the fence about this okay it's like you're not sure if you made it you made the right decision but i'm from your read i'm getting that you did especially with your final outcome um okay because with the ten of pentacles scorpio By you focusing on yourself, Scorpio, re you really staying in your own lane, restructuring, okay? It's like you're going with the natural flow of, of nature again. Again, It's like you're falling into osmosis. You're letting your higher power, your God, whoever you may choose to be, to work for you. And to. it's like you're really turning your life and your will over to the care of God as you understand him, okay? Whoever that may be, okay, your higher power can be a, this tree right here. It can be God. It can be whoever you choose. But when you're in recovery, like, you really have to focus on uh, a higher power, someone greater than you, anybody. It can be anybody, okay? You can name it whatever you want, but a power greater than you. Um, and I do see you being okay with that okay and if you're not in recovery please take it as it resonates okay this message may not be for you scorpio but there are other things that will resonate with you okay like this relationship uh with the three of swords um i do see and with the death card on the side i feel like you took you took this absence 
okay within the relationship scorpio to focus on yourself as a result you've been super emotional about it but you have the queen of cups and you have the queen of pentacles okay so it's like i'm getting more so this is a female feminine energy okay i'm seeing as a result of you focusing on yourself your finances are coming back into play okay it's like you're you're able to restructure you're able to regain employment go back to your workplace okay i see you have a really strong work ethic scorpio it's almost like you're kind of letting i feel like you're not resisting anymore here with the three of swords i feel like you're not resisting anymore i feel like you're not trying to like work magic to like save this relationship i see you more so focusing and like letting divine timing work for you okay with the star you have aquarius present i see you i see uh you kind of more so going with the flow of 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 the universe your manifestations at this point scorpio are also very strong i briefed you at the beginning of this reading that the sun the moon and or the star astrologically would pop up for you and as 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 i said it did um okay i feel as if there is some type of connection between you and a libra as well is what i'm hearing okay uh and then for your final outcome you have the sun which is the happiest card in the deck so what i'm getting scorpio is that there is a strong ending to something in your life that was no longer serving you this has been an emotional roller coaster okay you've been up and down with like the decisions you've been making you've been doubting yourself scorpio but i see as the final outcome all this work is gonna pay off in your favor so let me go ahead and use this other deck to clarify I mean, your reading was pretty straightforward, and it really didn't have any trouble um, reading it, but let's go ahead and just clarify to be sure. Okay. Spirit guys, angels, please clarify the king of swords. Who is the king of swords? Who is the king of swords? Here, guys, angels, please clarify the King of Swords. We have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups, Scorpio. Okay, so yeah, like I was telling you at the beginning of the reading, I feel more so this is for a female with a male partner. I see some, tr I see some truth came into play okay that caused some type of separation it caused you scorpio to leave like i was briefing you like i was telling you it caused you to leave on an independent road you staying in your own lane and focusing on yourself focusing on bettering yourself scorpio spirit guys angels the fool yeah So with the Eight of Cups and the Fool, it's more so, I feel in this situation, I'm hearing that, you know, not, not to make the same mistakes twice, okay? To do things differently, Scorpio, because whatever you were doing before, it's like you were focusing on self, on self-will, okay? You were trying to change, but you were still like running the show as in scorpio's will when in all reality you should be running your life on your higher powers will or again whoever you may choose okay um i feel like it's a reminder to not make the same mistakes again to be patient your guys angels please clarify the, please clarify the five of pentacles for scorpio we have the king of pentacles the emperor in reverse 
the emperor in reverse okay the king of pentacles with the two of pentacles okay like i was saying i feel like you're going back and forth on some type of decision you made scorpio with the king of pentacles so i do see uh i do see your work and your i do see you having a sense of loyalty to your work environment okay them as well to you it goes both ways again like i was saying you have really strong work ethics scorpio and with the emperor in reverse i feel like this is your significant other i feel like he's in reverse because he's out of balance with you not being present scorpio it's like he's out of balance he, he I, I'm hearing he needs you in his life. He wishes you back in his life. But you're like, I miss you. Like, I miss you. I miss the family. I want to come back. Should I go? Should I come back? Or should I continue to stay and focus on myself? Like, I left for a reason. Those are the questions I'm hearing. Okay, Spirit Guys, Angels, please clarify the Temperance card with the page of wands okay so with temperance and the page of wands i do see you having some type of more so uh free spirited um i feel <clears throat> like spiritual awakening <clears throat> like that aha moment the reason for that is because I feel like you were on the fence a lot about should you stay, should you go, okay? But I do see you finally enjoying your independence, okay? I see you enjoying your independence. I see you finally throwing up the baton and like just being like, I'm free. I'm hearing I'm free. I'm free. I'm happy. This is what freedom feels like. That's what I'm hearing, Scorpio. Um, spirit guys, angels, please clarify. Please give me another card to clarify temperance. Okay, yeah. So uh, earlier, I told you the high priestess was going to pop up for you. But you have the high priestess and the hierophant. And then we also have the three of wands with the two of wands. Yeah, so Scorpio, you've been doing the work. Uh, you've been doing the work. You've been working on yourself. You've been you've been digging deep. Okay, you have been thinking of the past. You have been trying to like reanalyze. You know, re try to like. It's like you're you're like breaking down the past to like a fine night detail type of way where you're questioning like what do you what could have you done better but i feel like you finally have stepped away from this and you're focusing on self okay you're more so now looking into the future i feel like you've accepted and realized that there's nothing that you can do in regard to the past okay the torch has the torch has been lit you're lighting your own path now, okay? Regardless of the past. And as I briefed you at the beginning of the reading, I told you the high priestess was gonna pop up for you guys. It popped up on in this other deck. Nonetheless, it is still here like I told you, like I uh, had told you it would come. And I love that it's here with the Hierophant because this is a higher level of commitment to yourself. And again, like I said, you had some type of spiritual awakening. You've gained the clarity to understand why you were working or why you have been doing the the, the self-work, okay? That the shadow work, the revisiting of the past to process with a therapist. I feel like you've been doing a lot of self inner work and you're finally getting that aha moment like i was telling you this has been some type of journey though but you are being pulled these two cards right here these are powerful you are put, being pulled by the divine with clarification 
a higher level of commitment to self and freedom okay this is i really like your guys' reading right now scorpio um it's like a redemption story uh i i'm hearing okay redemption like you you're having a strong redemption story it's like you're taking the narrative back you're taking the power back of your story you're taking control of the narrative to the way that you want it to appear and by doing that you're empowering yourself scorpio to become the best version of yourself we have the eight of swords here with the queen of cups yeah so you've been really digging deep like i said you've been digging deep you, I feel like you were shackled to something in the past. I'm, I'm in in regard to this scenario. I feel like this is for someone specific, but I feel like it's in regard to some type of toxic relationship, uh, alcoholism, uh, some type of addiction, codependency, uh, mental health. Okay, it was something that was dark that was holding you back and wasn't really letting you like live your best self. But I see as a result of you digging deep and doing the work that you've been able to set yourself free, Scorpio. Um, spirit guides, angels, please clarify the two of swords for Scorpio. Please clarify the two of swords. Okay. So we have the ace of swords. So like I said, you've been in your head a lot, okay? You've been, this has been a long journey. You got the star card again. You have Aquarius energy present. I really feel like you have some, I told you at the beginning of this reading, you have some type of astrological uh, way of power right now, okay? So I would really focus on your manifestations. I would write them down. When you write them down, it's how they come to life, okay? There's a different connection between like thinking and writing something down, okay? It processes better through in your en throughout your energy versus just thinking it or saying it. It's not the same as writing it down. Okay, it processes differently and it, you use different parts of your brain, which allows you to use most of, like, we as humans only, like, use, I think, like, maybe max 30% of our brain. And if that, like, you're a genius. But the capacity of the power of the mind is very in tune with your guys' energy right now, Scorpio. Okay, again, you have a sense of freedom there you got the devil card uh so i'm putting this over here with the death um i really feel like as if you are, have let something go in the past that just was no longer serving you with the seven of pentacles like i said you're restructuring you're regrounding yourself okay i'm really i'm hearing you're in your root chakra right now okay you have a long you i see you come from a big family as well scorpio <clears throat> You have generations on generations on generations of family members, okay? And it's like you're trying, you're gonna break the cycle of this toxicity within the family. You're gonna break this pattern. You're gonna break these chains, change, these chains, I'm sorry, uh, because you are making the changes to have a higher level of commitment. Like I said, with the high priestess, the judgment, and the hierophant. You have a divine calling, uh, Scorpio. You are literally being pulled by the divine at this moment in time. You're ascending to a higher level of self, okay? To a higher level of commitment to self. And as a result of doing so, you're gonna have a hap you're gonna have that happily ever ending story like that you've wanted or cherished since childhood okay at the bottom of the deck we have the two of cups which i feel is 
or some type of reconciliation of union of partnership of marriage with someone that you've currently separated from okay all right let me just clarify the the final outcome for you guys please clarify the final outcome the tower and the six of wands yeah so there's an aha moment that's coming in and as a result you're gonna have some type of spiritual awakening like i said um i'm also getting the sense that you're going to you're going to shine a light on yourself that has like that has been dimmed for some time now okay it's like you've kind of been living in shadow in the shadows you've been living in the dark but the divine the audience has now granted that the time to shine is now for you scorpio okay you are the star you are the star of your own show you are the star of your own show you have the power and the star quality to become the best version of yourself you just have to make that commitment to yourself because you know you have the creativity the intelligence the the power of mind the spirituality the tolerance of emotions and of character defects to 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 really become who you wish to be because the power of who you wish to be and who you will become is going to happen is going to have to happen through you okay yeah the bottom of the deck the queen of cups it's like you're throwing your hands up scorpio and you're saying okay i get it like i i surrender i surrender to this past that was no longer serving serving me and then as i was telling you the moon um i told you the sun the moon the star astrologically major arcana cards were gonna pop up uh with the moon i'm like humbled by seeing this card because i feel as if you, you guys have really opened this portal to something greater than you, okay? I mean, you're, the spread of your reading is, like, magnificent in great power, okay? You guys are in great power right now, Scorpio. Um, I'm, I'm, like, really happy for you guys. You guys have the moon. You guys have the star. Okay, you have the sun, you have the star again, and then for Major Arcana, you have the judgment, the emperor, the fool, the tower, the hierophant the high priestess temperance and then off to the side we have death and the devil okay so astrologically as i was briefing you guys you guys have you have every planet and star known to mankind within the deck on your side the power of manifestation for you guys is super powerful like i had briefed you at the beginning of the reading um you have one two three four five six seven eight nine you have nine major arcana cards okay wow what a powerful reading actually no i'm sorry you have you have nine ten eleven twelve thirteen you have 13 major arcana cards. So 13 may be of a significant number for you guys, okay? Go go into Google, Google and type in archangel number 13 and see what the what message 
the angels have in store for you. But let me take a step back. Let me roll the dice for you myself. Okay, so we have, oh well. So we have nine and four, which is 13. <laughs> we have nine, four, and then we have 40. Okay, so, I mean, the number you, you're gonna wanna type in is 9440 into Google as your angel number and see what message the, the divine, the angels have in store for you, okay? But this also breaks down with nine to four as in 13, which is probably in regard to the 13 major arcana cards I pulled for you. But you also have four and four, which is eight. And then you have four and zero is five. And five plus eight is uh, 13. So, I mean, yeah. Right? Yeah. Five plus eight is 13. 13 again. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know how this can be any clearer but i would type in angel number 9440 and then obviously 13 13 13 popped up three different times for you guys so i would look into that number as well i feel like as if the 13 has a stronger message for you guys than the one i pulled but nonetheless the message I got from the number I pulled was also the message that the angels wanted you to make sure you heard. So it's just like them making sure I re-clarified for you to look up this number. All right, with that being said, this I feel like this a reading was so spiritual. I really enjoyed doing it. Um, please go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get updated on my next video. I've been humbled by your reading, okay? Uh, with that being said, please don't forget to live out your best legacy.